ahead of Joe Burrow, ahead of Justin Herbert. There will be a number of big mega quarterback deals done this offseason, but none so far have been bigger than the one that Jalen Hurts got done today, a five-year, $255 million extension that included just north of $179 million guaranteed. These two sides have been targeting this deal for months now, and right before the NFL draft, they're able to get it done. If we think back to one year ago, the Eagles traded back to get an extra first-round draft pick in this draft so that if Jalen Hurts didn't work out, they would have the ammunition to go draft another quarterback. Well, he blew that up during the offseason, became an MVP candidate, almost won a Super Bowl, and rendered all that moot and obsolete, and today became the first quarterback this offseason to land one of those major deals. There'll be others ahead, but Jalen Hurts is on the board first. Yeah, if you look back at his career so far, if you put a wall of a challenge in front of him, Jalen Hurts usually finds a way to climb over it and then some. Last season, Hurts made a huge leap as a pocket passer. In his first two seasons, he struggled significantly inside the pocket, ranking near the bottom of the league in QBR, completion percentage, and touchdown to interception ratio. Last season, a completely different story as he ranked second in QBR and first in both completion percentage and touchdown to interception ratio on his way to fin finishing second in the MVP voting. Uh, Mina, how unique is the situation between Hurts and the Eagles? Well, it's now the second example, Laura, of a player coming into the NFL with incredibly impressive traits. It, the maniacal work ethic is needed to do that, but the question has been answered. Can you improve, improve accuracy? Yes. Absolutely. That has been answered. We know that now. And I think the Agreed. reality is, is like the mechanics got better for both those players. Jalen specifically, it's physics. If you refine those, they get better. The big question that he got answered on top of that was, can you see it? And that's what these teams have to figure out moving forward for guys that have these traits and attributes is because Jalen was a guy that came in. He, does, he wasn't exposed to having to see it a ton. So, like, do you see the pre-snap and post-snap? Do you see the coverage recognition? Do you see leverage of defenders? Do you see the windows open and close? That's really where Jalen Hurts made this tremendous leap on top yeah. of the mechanics of the accuracy that was necessary. Yeah. Yeah, what both of you said. The, the, the thing that came to my mind when, when MK was talking uh, and Dan is, are you willing, right? Yeah. And you talked about the mental fortitude that you have to have, MK. And Dan, you always talk about quarterbacks – not only staying in structure, but not panicking and getting out of structure when it doesn't look the way it's supposed to look immediately. And I think that's another characteristic that you see these quarterbacks sure. develop over time. And what I mean by saying is if the if the five yard check down or if the slant is there and you know you can get it there, don't be afraid to do it. Don't bail too early yep. thinking that you need to be an athlete when you still have a availability in the pocket. Don't leave the pocket when it's a clean po pocket. Don't do all of those things that people try to use negatively about your athleticism, yeah. and that allows you to mature and grow as a holistic quarterback. And I think that's what you want to get to with these athletic guys at some point is for them to say, you know what? I don't need to use this speed or this power in order to get in and out. And that was the jump that Jalen took as well. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.